in the weather. I'm not. What are you? I'm Italian and Indian. Well, shit. The Mexicans were shipped back over there during, well, he was uh, from the, during the Renaissance period. Well, they were shipped right back over there, you know? He's, uh, yeah, because <laughs> we just say you look like you're from the Northern Ten Tribe to Israel. It's okay if I was. I mean, I ain't mad, but still, I'm just saying, like, you don't that's like not, no, it's, it's not that, it's not that you got I something against the Mexicans? Anybody. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying a, that. You've been a deceitful right there? It, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that, man. It's just, that's what's wrong with the community today. You can't walk out here in the world and they walk up, they shake your hand like, hey, how you doing? I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're Mexican, I don't care if you're Christian, you want to say Israel, Jerusalem, I don't care. That's what's wrong with the world. Can you say it's time for the history of the American plan? Everybody was united as one. They can't. When's that ever happen? It never happened. When's that ever happen? That's what I'm asking. When's that ever happen? Was there ever a time in the American history of America that You know damn well they're black. Right, that's right. Look at what this makes but, about but the race these days. Talk, talk, I am. Talk is, uh, everybody is, uh, makes it about race these days, and that's what pisses me off. No. Like, I'm a cool and I'm a calm guy, but everybody, and it pisses me off because everybody wants to be all about the race these days. Exactly. And, 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 and living and, and growing in a community from when you're a child and you're a grown man, I'm here 50 years old. I ain't gonna lie to you. Not, not one time have I ever been racist. Not one time have I ever said anything racist to nobody or anybody. Not one time. You believe in the Bible? I was raised Southern Baptist. Can I read you a scripture? No. I'm Check this out. Matthew oh, 15 and 24. I'm going to read a scripture, though. This That's is what's wrong with them, though, man. That's what's wrong with the world. You can't be a peace. You can't accept the community. <laughs> okay, it is. It is. Say what you want. That's what's wrong with it today. Everybody can stand out here. Everybody can lecture. The scriptures is like a... Like right? Fuck this world. The scriptures is like a repellent. That's what I said. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not trying to repel. I'm not. You know what, James, right? We don't care about these people, though. James? Nor the, nor the community. Is that yeah. your name? Yeah, we don't care about the community. I'm not trying to repel. I'm really not. Repel? Yeah, that's what he said. No, no, no. Like you, I see, see you, you listen to what I'm saying. You're not even understand what I just said, man. What'd you say? You know, you're not, you're not, don't worry about it, man. Ain't I ain't trying to make it no big deal. But I mean, oh, oh, come on, man. Oh. Uh, Community is community. I don't care. I don't care your color. Make the fucking world peace. That's what we want, ain't it? Community. That sounds they like communism. It. They can't do it though. That's a buzz word. Yeah, it community. Ain't communism. It's not. They just can't make the world peace. That's how I talk The Lord didn't come to bring peace. That's though. the problem. That's the problem with Christianity. Is they, they can't be at peace. They can't accept you for who you are, what color you are, what race you are. Oh, you're right about that's that the part. Problem. Let's get the scriptures though. Yeah, the the Lord didn't. God bless you too. The Lord didn't come to bring peace, though. That's the thing. What is it, Matthew what? Look, Matthew 10 and 34. Is it Matthew or is it Genesis? Listen, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came to bring peace. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. Listen, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. So there ain't going to be no peace, bro. You see peace? He told me he has that on. He's just so good. He's just so like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got that cloud of confusion over it. Yeah, I mean, talking about that, uh, what? I don't know what they call themselves. The com com the comforters. Comfy, comfy and the comforts. Comfy and the comforts. I can't see shit on this day. Go ahead, bring that out. Right. It's Luke 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather the vision. Yo. And that's what dude was keep, keep babbling on about. Oh, that's why it was messed up. out here teaching race, 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 but we got to come together and love each other. And both, you know, I thought I was going off on some madness, man. Like, what the? Here's a... Yeah, the Lord ain't with all that love and spirit, man. I mean, you're supposed, you're supposed to love your brother. You know what I mean? The hell of everybody else. We ain't concerned with the average person. Love your neighbor. Yeah. Who's your neighbor, though? God bless you guys, though, man. Pre preach the truth. Don't lie to nobody. Don't lie about race. Don't lie about race. Under some circumstances, yeah. But he'll never understand that either. Matthew. Matthew 12 and 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, 
His mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, He said, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards the disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of the Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Yeah, that's right, the will of the heavenly Father is to bring this truth out 100%. Correct? So, you know? if you ain't doing the will of the Father, you're not our brother. We don't love you. You know, you're not our neighbor. You know what I mean? What does the scripture say? Love thy neighbor, right? Who's the neighbor? These, neighbor? these people ain't neighbors. These people are motherfucking uh, criminals, fucking heathens, goddamn vermin. You know what I mean? Evil doers. Evil workers of evil. Evil workers of evil. What's the Evil workers of evil. Yeah, two thirds of Israel is not your neighbor. They are not your friends. Somebody, you gotta love everybody. We well, get tired of hearing that shit. How many times are you gonna bring that out? You gotta love everybody. God loves everybody. That's just played out. Hey, yeah, it's played out, man. We ain't trying to hear that shit. Hey, what we mean by the you know, neighbor? The neighbor is the 12 tribes of Israel. And actually, just one third of the elect the right elect. now. The, elect. the hell with two thirds. Two thirds, they, they garbage. I woke up. You know, there are those of Israel that are not Israel. You know what I mean? So we're not worried about saving, waking up all of Israel. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, we gonna undo the Most High's work. Man. Exactly. The Most High put them to sleep. How are we gonna wake them up? We can vex them. That's what we can learn. There's a vex two thirds. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll tell you about my work situation after the video. Oh, you want what you think? Yeah, they dicking me around. Well, at least you got a job. This is for a couple months, so it ain't gonna last. Well, let me get one scripture real quick. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. <laughs> According as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that should not see, and ears that should not hear unto this day. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and That's a right. trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Right, right. So this, these scriptures, they read the scriptures, and totally get something else in yep. the prophets get. They, you know? they got eyes, but they can't see. Yep, yep. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. I say then, have they stumbled that they shall fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, and that goes to uh, talking about the Gentiles who are actually Israelites who have lost their way. You know what I mean? Just like your boys out here, what's their name? Uh, the, the Comforters people. I'm comfy and the comfort. He came out here, just one person ran them off. They got scared. But uh, they know they Israelites. But they didn't obtain what they were seeking for, did they? They got, they got no sight. You know what I'm saying? They got none. They can't see nothing. They got cataracts all up in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? This shit cloudy. Yeah. You ever looked at somebody with cataracts on them? Your eyes are damn near white. Yeah. It's white. You can not barely see the uh, center part. It's getting dim. Here we go. Uh, this is Jeremiah uh, 2 and uh, 8. Uh, the priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handle the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied by, by Al and walked at the things that do me. Yeah, that whole love the community, clean up the community, 
God loves everybody. That that's the philosophies of the how. You know, oh God loves everybody. That that's what Satan would teach. You know, because Satan they comes in that spirit of love, don't he? Jesus would ever want to talk Spirit of Baal of work, you know what I'm saying? The spirit of Satan. That is the hey, you can sense the demonic presence out here, bro. Look at that stupid shit, man. All drooling and falling. Look like he got rabies. It's fun time right now. People have fun with the clown, that silly shit. You know, that's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. But the judge, we'll have the last lap. Before I get to go back to the next picture. We're going to have a nice heartily lap. Could you imagine hearing the most high lap? Yeah, it's shaking the earth. Make you right, right. Um, this is a... This is Proverbs 1 and 22. 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Yeah, so it's always the fool, the person who's the most uneducated, you know, the, the biggest non-informed person that don't know nothing, know no history, don't never watch the news. They don't know nothing. You know, they're just dumb as hell. That's always the type of people that's coming up scoffing. Like they, they're an expert, you know what I mean? When they have absolutely no knowledge whatsoever, they're gonna scoff like they know something. The only thing they ever studied was like what, Sports Center? They know a couple of stats, you know what I'm saying? That's like that's the extent of their knowledge. They know the whole cast, their name and nickname by the hip hop housewives. Oh yeah, they know they what? That's their knowledge right there. That's their scripture. Right, right. Because our uh, fools delight in scorning, you know what I mean? They like to come up, run their mouths. Literally act stupid when they work. But, I mean, the Lord's word is serious, man. But that's really the Lord doing that, though, you yeah. know, rising the spirit, so. That's good, though. Hey, get that. Uh, I'll get it here. I was about to say Proverbs 13 and 3. this last week. I'm going to keep reading. Proverbs 13 and 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. So they got me, you all going to eat missiles. If you come against the prophets, the apostles, and the word of the Most High, you all going to eat missiles. When those missiles start dropping out of the sky, you're going to eat missiles. He that keepeth his life, I uh, slug it. You know, he, they, they don't think there's much harm in what they doing walking by and just snickering. Just saying those stupid ass comments, man. Because they've been raised on that foolish spirit. Right. Now, let me do you, let me see if you go to the military, stand in line, where you call them fucking line. The drill instructors. Right, and speak out of line and start clowning while the drill instructors talk. See what happened then. Hey, beat your ass. Right, now we're talking about your house, let's your house shot. You know, how much is a fit does he take in that, you know? Uh, Cause yeah, the Lord is the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the armies. Oh yeah, you see that dude for the uh, for a house they dropped dead, the soccer player. Uh, you, you ain't seen it? Here, it's the same dude that walked by us like about a month or a couple months ago, man. For real? Yeah, let me show you a picture. Of you probably recognize him. Proverbs twenty two and three: A prudent man perceives the evil and hide it himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, cause they simple, man. They you know, they ain't thinking. It's the dude that always walked by with his cleats. He always he had him. Oh, he always carried, carried his cleats. What happened to him? So he drowned or some shit. Here he is. Is that the dude that? I think I did hear about someone dying. Yeah, you can really see. So we gotta turn the brightness up right here. Look up there, got fucking dead. Oh yeah, did, you see that? The, yeah. Oh, uh, was it? Play for the Bears. <laughs> they, they. I saw that. I saw that. I told you. Oh, I'm going dying. Read it though. 
I, I read it. I just watched that Tommy Sotomayor video. Right. But they, they said they found him in a hospital dead, ass up in the air. Woo! He got raped to death. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make it larger though. Cause we've seen him like several times. Yeah, I saw the white. Oh yeah. He was, uh, his Jeep smashed him. <laughs> he and his own head at home in his driveway, the Jeep smashed him. They could've killed his ass. <laughs> yeah. You got a remote control cars now. Oh, it oh, oh, happened. It's happening. It's, it's, he turned up the faucet a little We're in the season of death right now. <laughs> yeah, right. What, I, what I used, call it? The, day, the year of the push. Oh, you see what happened with the Brexit too. You got Britain done went left the EU. That's going to cause all kind of havoc because now you got all that 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 nationalist spirit building up in over there in uh, the UK. And now the next step is they're going to start fighting against the Muslims that came to their country. They're going to want to get them out of there. Yeah. yeah and so there's yeah. going to be race wars that are over there. Well, Lord willing. There's a scripture. Uh, this is Second Ezra 16 and 7. For there should be. For, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then they shall know who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Drive-by stuff. Yeah, drive-by some shit. <laughs> you think they were done learned by now? Nah. You know that ain't happening. You know, Israel got to get a serious, you know, when the kid is a hard-headed kid, you got to whoop that motherfucker's ass. Yeah, got to whoop it, <laughs> beat the shit out of him. <laughs> you got to beat his ass. Hey, actually, there's a scripture in the Old Testament that says if you got a disobedient son, he's supposed to get put to death. Right, right. So you want to tell me the Most High is not going to uphold his own laws? He gonna, he gonna put him, the Lord gonna put y'all to death right. if you ain't right. That's the spirit because I'm about to go back to that Proverbs 1 that I was reading. Turn ye, this is uh, Proverbs 1 and 22, 23. I'm gonna just talk back to 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? simplicity? And the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your commandment. I will mock when your fear comes. So the Lord gonna mock y'all. Like we say, it would be a beautiful thing to hear the Most High laugh. But I bet the Most High laugh and just have y'all dropping dead. You know, they ain't noticing these people dropping dead. They see it on the news, but they ain't taking no they ain't, they ain't taking it to heart and mind, you know, what's really going yeah, on. Yeah, like that Venezuela deal. Because, you know, they always think, oh, that's never going to happen here. They think they in a safe zone or something. <laughs> right. America, the untouchable. Right. Hey, that's why in Jeremiah, was that 50 and 51, it talks about how, uh, you know, the, how America's gonna, pretty much going to get its cherry pop. Because they ain't never really been invaded like that before. It's going to happen. That virgin daughter. Get yeah, a virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, where we at? Oh, okay. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel with none of my recruit. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear is I will mock when your fear is That's why I'm standing. That wind is retarded. I curse that damn wind. There's a little obstacles you gotta do without the wind. Uh, scoffing ass two third demons. And that wind coming out of their mouth. <laughs> but they say you blow, they blow on hot air. Right. Uh, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. 
They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Now this is the chance, this is the time to find the most hard. When, you know, when his men is out here, you know, giving you the truth 100%. And, 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 you know what I mean? We ain't hiding somewhere in some alley, you know? This is the time to find the truth, but the door is fucking closing. I mean, how many times do you fucking keep that, man? That door is closing. They think they got this special, uh, what they call a skeleton key, which unlocks any lock. They think they got that, so when that door is shut, they think they're gonna just, oh, okay, I can still get in there. They don't want to, that's somebody that's spiritually just gone, man. For that, uh, for that, they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. I mean, just like they despise us. Can't stand the motherfucking prophets. Can't stand what this prophecy is representing. Can't stand the signs. Can't stand nothing. They can't stand when we bring out the cameras. Put the camera out here. They gotta get the hell up out of there. They hate it so much you know? that watch, still watch all the videos. Right. Um, therefore shall they eat of their, the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Thirteen okay. to three. It goes same thing. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. That go. You, you'll come up talking all that shit, man. You just condemning yourself. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta be rude to yourself, motherfucker. You really do. Sometimes you be trying to be nice, you know? but sometimes you can't. You, you, right. you can't be nice. Sometimes, man. You gotta literally tell them. Yeah, you gotta shut the fuck up. Like the scripture says, oh, about the motherfuckers, their mouths must be stopped. Out here running, they vomit. You know, vomiting all over the motherfucking place. Like we supposed to be taking spoonsful and putting in bags and saving that shit. Dumbass people, man. Can't teach a motherfucker that. But out here spurring out all kind of madness like they catch them. I got, I got it, I got it. Matthew 12 and 34. Oh, generation of vipers, how can ye being evil, speak good things. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. That's what all we hear. Oh, they coming out of their heart talking about what I feel, my heart though. <laughs> we ain't trying to hear your bullshit, man. That madness. That madness. A good man out of, out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right, like the like the uh, like the scorning, uh, scoffing comedians, you know. They think it's a joke, like, right. and then they go, "Oh, you see me? I, I got them though." <laughs> right. Boasting about it, just you know, they just clowns. Finish with that one. Yep. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Like you can know it. And then people's heart, they tell, they think they, they got they got they got to accept faggots. The love the protest faggot rights. You know the woman's heart, her heart told her that she had to leave her husband. She right. You know what I mean? But that was the right thing to do. <laughs> right, bro. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Honey, honey, don't leave that nigga. Yeah, that's how they do honey, it. Honey, sweetie. You just gotta follow your heart, baby. <laughs> do what's right for you. Crazy ass motherfucker. Yeah, these people got, they got demonic spirits on them. I got some more of this one, baby. Um, this is verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to his fruit of his doings. Yep. As a partridge sitteth on eggs and hatcheth them not, 
So he that giveth riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days and that his end shall be a fool. That was That's a beautiful scripture. Right, right. There's some fools, man. And you see how the Lord is talking. He's talking with authority, you know, telling you. Did the Lord just say, I love you and no matter what you do. Uh, soft voice. Soft voice. Yeah, you gotta talking to the soft voice. You got to do the soft voice. I can't even speak soft like that. I ain't got it in me right now. Yeah, right, right. That's the look, man. That's the look. Just by their looks, man. Just I mean, by the Lord is looking at these people and saying, these ain't my people. What's that scripture? That countenance of very... Oh, that's Isaiah 3. That countenance bears witness against them. Because I could just look at somebody and tell if they're right or not. Right. Just and one look. Right. The counselor just bear witness and give in reference to the homosexual, but that's also meaning that if he's saying that we can recognize homosexual, we can recognize other people's weakness, you know? That goes in that John. Right. Uh, we got to try the spirit. That's some, right. That's right. Some brothers are good at dealing with uh, sensing evil spirits and others. Yeah. You can feel it. Like some brothers, they be, uh, they too naive and they're they too willing to trust the snake, you know? Fighting right in the home. But I can sense it, bro. Yeah. Fighting right in your home. A snake. Can you imagine what that motherfucking snake coming to the home with? You gonna take a piss at What can I get? Let me open the window latch. Yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah. Stick a little little piece of paper in the lock or something. Right. Just trying to set you up. That's a snake for you, man. That's a snake. That's why I said these people are not your friends. Shit, there's a spider in a snake that actually look around for other holes to get in that's occupied by other snakes and spiders and kick them out, man. Kill yeah, them out I believe it. You know, snakes and spiders, man. You know? As, these people are like snakes and spiders. Yep. Eight-legged eight, eight creatures. Trying to catch, catch you in their little, their little spider web they <laughs> wove. They're going to wrap you up and stick their venom in you. Um... I'm going to go to Jeremiah uh, 18 and 11. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to think if I should start at one. Uh, I'm just going to start uh, Jeremiah 18 and... I'm going to start at five. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this said the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. At what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom, to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I have thought to do unto them. And at what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom, to build and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now, therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you. Let me start back at 11 again. What, the Lord, the, what did the Lord say? <laughs> I'm about to go back at 11. Now, therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah. I ain't say speak to uh, the women. Right, Jezebel and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you. So that's the Lord said he's bringing the evil. I want to look at this word frame real quick, man. It's curious. What was it? Frame, F-R-A-P-M-E. I got a... I got a dictionary right yeah, here. Let me get it. I had it, had it out just for you. <laughs> That's what we had, man, you can't be surprised. Confess is going on down the street. You know, big, oh, I forgot big, all about that. Yeah. But I mean, you, you can walk around butt naked out here. You won't get in trouble. But if you say, speak any hate speech, that's your ass. <laughs> Don't say anything bad against faggots. You might go to jail. But you can walk around naked and be a faggot. Hey, that's what that Orlando shooting was all about. That was a total hoax, a total psyop. It was a 
hit two birds with one stone. Take the guns away and make everybody accept faggots. And you can see, and that's why Hawaii just passed some gun, them uh, gun laws. You see that? Yep. Where every gun owner got to be registered. Yeah, that's the first start. It's right there. It's going to spread. There's some side of my They get, they, you think, you think it'd get better? It, there's more and more sodomites every day. It gets worse, look. It's everywhere. That title is Capital for Solomon, man. I see more. I mean, everywhere I go to, go to any store, I see just faggots everywhere. They got purses. Walk around with purses. Grown ass man walk around with a purse. Got, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got their nails done. And, and here it is, they taking away all your freedoms. They done emasculated the men out here. Here we go, this is frame. To construct by putting together the various parts to conceive or design, frame or to, to arrange or adjust for a purpose, uh, to put into words, formulate, to reply, to form, silence with the lips, to enclose or encircle with or as if with a frame slang, to bring evidence or event so as to incriminate. Ooh. Yeah. To fix so as to ensure a design. Well, damn, there it is. To fix. That's what we're doing. Fix it. Let me see that wall. You, Ooh, shoot, I was going to see the, I had to see the Latin or whatever it came right, from. Right. It's all right. Go back to this again. I'd be curious. Right. Ooh, you gotta go ahead, bring that out. I was gonna okay, this is uh, Jeremiah 18, start back at 10 again. If it be do evil in my sight that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good, wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now, therefore, go to. Speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Return ye now, every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. Now, that's too difficult for a two thirds. Yeah. You know? Especially when we talking about Esau. We just talking about two thirds of the motherfucker. Esau is a devil. You know, he was made to do it. You know? So don't even expect him to throw scriptures at that motherfucker like he's gonna do good or he's gonna wake up one day. I gotta do something. Now they're trying to save Esau. Right. Hell, you see Esau rise up against Esau being wicked now, man. You know, you see more and more of that. Yep. So you know a kingdom that's divided against itself can't stand. Right. They show a complaint of an unjust father or some shit like that in scripture. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices. And we will, everyone, do the imagination of his evil heart. Then we go back to the heart. That's all these people do. They follow after the imaginations of their evil hearts. They do whatever they want to do. You know? <laughs> I mean, you ain't even exaggerating. They got no, yeah, they got no respect for nothing. No respect for no, nothing decent and proper and order. They got no respect for order, no respect for authority. You know what I'm saying? No respect for the laws of the Most High, the traditions of their forefathers. They just degenerates. I always get that Jeremiah uh, too. I'll go ahead. So, with Solomon 4 and 15, these people saw it and understood it not. Neither they they up in their minds that the grace and mercy is of the saints that he had respect to his children. I was just saying, I was reading it. Then, I mean, this was Solomon 4 and 15. This, the people saw it, and understood it not. He related up in their minds that his grace and mercy and with the saints that he has discussed and Yeah, because these people, they, they didn't take no thought of the Most High, you know what I mean? There's nowhere in their mind, nowhere near their wit, you know what I'm saying? They, all they think about is how they gonna commit adultery next. How they gonna get with their best friend's wife. That's the only thing they thinking about. How to go do something foolish. 
how to go hit that lick, how to get that next drug score. How we gonna get how we gonna get this high? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all they talk about is really is drugs. That's the main thing. All they care about is getting high, getting fucked up. They even say I'm fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. Like I was acting a fool. Yeah, you're right. Jeremiah two and one. Let me get this real quick. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Know therefore, see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou have forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, save the Lord God of hosts. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands and thou saidest, I will not transgress when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wonderest playing the harlot. Ain't that our people they walk around, they playing the harlot. They whoring against the most high. They wonders, looking for us like they looking for something. Under every green tree they doing it. Look. Yet, and this is talking to, to Israel. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned unto the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Because hey, all people are degenerate. Two, two, east bay, the bright and Scarborough Boulevard. You call, you call them degenerates, bro. A backwards people. And they got no shame either. They didn't tell you, I got no shame. I got no shame on my game. Talking that bullshit. Uh, let me go back to this drummer. 18. Exactly. They, they don't care about their forefathers, you know, what they was raised in or supposed to have been raised in. I mean, the, most of these fools, they don't even know the Ten Commandments. They, I, they can't even tell you three of them. Because my people have forgotten me, they have burnt incense to vanity and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate in a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east they, wind. They say astonished and what? <laughs> right. To make their land desolate in a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag their head. Wag their head, okay, you're like, damn. <laughs> Great destruction. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the end. Yeah, because you don't know about the east wind. You know about the east wind in the scripture? Because the east wind, that is an actual thing called the east wind. It will come through and destroy all the crops. But the Most High also use that as a parable that he's going he gonna to bring destruction on you. You know what I mean? It's simple as just to say drought. Yeah, it's a drought. <laughs> The famine. Uh, that famine. That famine. word, famine. That drought. Right. Three, West Mount Street, yeah. Georgesville, and Holt. I will, I will scatter them after the before the end. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. So the Lord said he's going to turn his back on uh, two-thirds of Israel. That's what he said. But the Lord love everybody. <laughs> anybody, man, anybody who says that, bro. Yeah. They're going to eat missiles. The Lord going to 
destroy it. Then said they, come and let us devise devices against Jerusalem, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite them with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. That's how they, they don't want to listen to none of our words, is it? Any of it says any of them. Let me read it again. Come and let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. That's how they be too. Jeremiah went through some shit, man. That thing right there. That's a little coop right there, boy. Huh. She on the prowl. That's a little coop. She over there purring. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thy wrath from them. Right, because the evil, evil be recompensed for good. Because if you come out here, you do good works. We teach the word of the Heavenly Father, and people that hate you for it, they want to render into you evil. You know what I mean? Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood for the force West of the Street to Georgesville and Holt. Therefore, deliver up the children to the famine, their children to the famine, and pour out their blood by the force of the sword, and let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows, and let their men be put to death. Damn. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. That's gonna happen too, man. It's gonna, you know, war is coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the little families, hey, bro, the Lord gonna destroy it. Like the scripture says, I'm killing young, old, male, female, maid, and little children. Oh, but the Lord won't kill little yeah. precious babies. Because you're a fine ass wicked bitch. I don't even go to save your pretty ass. Shit, that's even more excuses. <laughs> Are you right to vaporize that bitch? <laughs> yeah, I take Clayton Cowboy, man, because I might be in the team, bro. I think I've seen her. That's the old school. I, I know her from somewhere, so. Oh, oh high ass hills. I gave him here two, three years ago. Let's eat this now. Let a cry, let a cry be heard from their houses. That's that same cry that was said in, uh, in Exodus, you know, the Egyptians in their house. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. That's, that's, that's a, gonna come. Yeah, that's a future prophecy right there. I seen Dabu Seven just uploaded a video today. Showed a bunch of uh, United Nations uh, like uh, the uh, tactical vehicles. They kind of like yeah, Humvees. Yeah, what they yeah, call it? Yeah, yeah, Elrads. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forget the same what they call it. Down in Virginia. Right. Hey, I saw it coming through Columbus. Oh yeah. You no, know? I saw it from on the train coming through Columbus. You know. That's a, he, he posted a good one uh, about the America. Well, actually, America right now is under uh, DEFCON 3. You know? Oh, to the Russia. Motherfucking troops is on the move, man. Chess moves. Everybody thinking they're chess moves now. Right? So when you play chess, you get closer and closer to the car when you get close to the queen or the king, you know. Brit Britain just made their move. Uh, oh, yeah. Then the five other places talking about following suit after the I did. Plus, yeah, yeah. Plus, I heard uh, there was rumors that, that uh, Putin was uh, helping fund that uh, yeah, the he, Brexit. Yeah, he said, right. Russia has nothing to do with the Brexit. Yeah. You know, he got a hand in everything. He's <laughs> a fucking strategizer. He's smart, too. Whoever, whoever's cleverly behind that. Yeah, whoever's behind that. <laughs> Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, for they have digged a pit to take me and his snares from my feet. Yes, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not, forgive not their iniquity. Thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thy anger. If the Lord is angry, he's he gonna deal with you. Up. Okay, I'm just uh, curious about what this is about. Reading the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. What's your nationality? Well, I'm from here, but I'm down in Pennsylvania. That's all right, but what's your nationality? 
Navajo. Oh, you're European. Native American. Okay. Sure. From your father's side, your father was uh, Native American, or yeah, my uh, well, actually, two different tribes. Okay. Okay. And I also have black. Right, but you know, whatever your father's is, you're an Israelite. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you're an Israelite. I didn't know. You know that. these so-called the, the so-called tribes of Israel. Yeah. You know, you notice that this is just the Israelites. They don't mention all the nations. Right. Like East Indians, mm -hmm. that's the Elamites, you know, or don't you see you don't see none of them African nations on here either. Right. You know, the Lord's only coming for Israelites. You know? That's it. Yeah, so most that's it. so most likely, yeah, uh you'd be like from the tribe of Gad. Oh really? Yeah. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. You know, you, you live in Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they found artifacts in Ohio written in ancient Hebrew. Mm -hmm. They'll try to say uh the Indians didn't have writing. But they did, they wrote Hebrew. Yeah, they called them savages. Yeah, okay, they called them savages. Straight up savages. But they had writing, they wrote in Hebrew. That's why they don't want you to know what writing they use. Wow. You know, they, they came over here to follow their law. So that just debunks how they say that the Indian tribes were savages, you know? They came over here to keep the law, follow the law, you know? Wow. Well, tell me, do y'all have anything I can take with me because I got a picture? No, we just got websites. We put everything to the internet. Oh, okay. Yes. So, yeah, we meet out here. We you get here. Kings of the Earth on Twitter. Oh, okay. Kings of the Earth. That's easy to remember. Yeah, it is. You got, Kings a, Twitter account. You got a Twitter account? Mm -hmm. You got a Twitter account? You go on the internet? Use the internet? No, but I can do it. Okay, you go to, you, go, you ever go to YouTube? Mm -hmm. There's videos all on YouTube. Like, I mean, you want to write it down for something, man. Why, hey, if, he, if you can remember the Twitter, all the videos are right there. Oh, yeah. Right, right. right. They give you all the links. Right. Well, I, I wish I could have dialogue with you guys. Yeah. Right. Well, well, you, know you got questions, days, you, could, you could message me, you yeah. know. Like this on Twitter, right? Yeah, Kings of the Earth. Well, okay. one word. And on YouTube. YouTube is a uh, woe unto the wicked. Okay, good. I'll remember that. Uh, Just like I'll remember Kings of the Earth. All right, All brother. one word. No space between them. Okay, you guys look at that. Ourselves. That is our people in it. You know, they made that covenant with death and the grave. That's their blueprint. They were, they're world worshippers of death. That's what all their music, what does the music all talk about? Killing people, we gonna ride it up uh, like your boy Chief Keith and all that, that Chirac. Look at Chicago. It's like the murder capital of the world. They know more people done died in Chicago than the Iraq and Afghanistan. And that's Israel. That's why they call it Chirac. They saying that shit like it's cute. Then that nigga Spike Lee made a movie about this shit, man. Yeah, he's like it's something cute, man. The Lord gonna put Spike Lee to death, man. Right. He might be the next celebrity on the road, man. He needs to be. The right. Lord gonna take his ass out. What's that dumb old dumbass movie that you think? I can't watch it. Right. Stupid shit. I ain't watched no Spike Lee movie in 20 years. Stupid shit. Man. I ain't trying to watch nothing he makes. That's just like watching Tyler Perry movies. Ah, right, you definitely gonna see me watching that. I ain't never watched the first one. <laughs> right. I, I, they had it on for like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm out of here. And they be like, oh, he's so inspirational. Yeah, but you ain't seen his plays, though. That's for women, man. That's yeah. for women. That's for women. Oh, faggot spirit, man. Man dressing up like a woman. They can't get a real woman to actually make a fucking woman. And then they, they get a dude dressing up like a woman, and then he's supposed to be like the God fearing member of the family. It's madness, man. Oh, backwards ass shit we live in. Yeah, 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone, a tri-stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believe it shall not make haste. Yeah, so this is a sure foundation right here. You know what I'm saying? We, we build our, our church on a solid rock. Judgment also will I lay in the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. <laughs> yep. So the, you gonna you gonna seek refuge in lies for so long. You know what I mean? And these people think, oh, we good, we good, we got it. We know you ain't got it. I'm ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready for whatever. Whatever, whatever the Lord has in store for me, I'm ready. Okay, get ready for the missiles. Get ready to eat missiles. Get ready for the famine. Get ready to eat your children. Get ready for the diseases. Y'all already got diseases. Get ready for more diseases. For the infestations and those, those cankerous sores. And You know what I'm saying? Your covenant with death shall be disallowed. This Loud, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing story shall pass through, then shall, then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you. For morning by morning shall it pass over. By day by night, then shall be a vexation only to understand the report. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it. Huh. Covering narrow, narrow, narrower than the then that he can't wrap himself in it. Yeah, yeah it's like you uh, you know, got that little tiny little blanket, you all freezing cold, you know, and cover up your feet, you can't keep your body and your feet warm, you know what I mean? That's what lies are gonna do for you. A lie, a lie, that little bullshit lie you believe in, ain't gonna go give you so much comfort, you know what I mean? American, American dream. Yeah, the American dream, that's a goddamn nightmare. What kind of, they didn't tell you what kind of dream it was. There's many kinds of what dreams. Isaiah 28. 28. Isaiah 28. Okay. I mean, Isaiah 2. Okay. I got two more verses. Uh, For Yahweh shall raise up as in the Mount of Chorazim. He shall be rough as in the Valley of Gabeon. That he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act. His strange work. His strange work. The most high is wild and crazy. Y'all ain't gonna believe the terror he's gonna bring and how he's gonna bring it. It's unbelievable. Look, you see the the, uh, the thing is avoiding us today. We're trying to tell them so they would turn away, you know, because we know what's coming, man. You we know the magnitude the of it, man. You don't see that that that, that train that we see every time oh, we have man. Oh, But look, this time it avoided us, though. You, you know, it's shameful. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about that. Read past his act, his strength act. Now therefore, be not mark mockers, least your hand. Your thought. Now therefore, be not marker. Now therefore, be not mockers, least your bands be made strong. For I had heard the Lord God of hosts a consumption, even determined upon the whole earth. Yeah, because you got you got all these scoffers and scorners, they won't come out and run their mouth. I man, go ahead and run your mouth, man. You got hell to pay. Anybody come up against the word of the most high, you gonna pay for every last word that you said. This is some wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face as such of such as have a fit him and may have no accounts of his favor. When they see it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all they that they that look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of a reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Let's go to some Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59, 
Like you see all these women Coda bus drivers, they are working, going to work every day. You know, you want to make upper 20 some dollars an hour. And what you what happens to a woman you put money in a woman's hand? She's gonna waste it. Yeah. You're gonna waste every last dime of it. You wanna spend every dollar. So Shorty of it's gonna be spending the clock. In that same day. Yep. You know? That's what happens, man. And she disregarded the children, the the children, you know? Yeah, who's raising the children while the woman's working? Right. The babysitter? That don't even make no sense. What was the woman for? That's her motherfucking kids. Right. She should be watching them. Right. But no, that makes too much sense. Babysitter, which a babysitter is a goddamn criminal. Really? Male and female, you know. And just the other day in Columbus, a babysitter killed somebody's child, man. They always get caught molesting yep. children. Right. What kind of job do you think a child molester is going to get? Right. A teacher? Uh, you going to work at child care? That's why all these principals, all the principals, teachers, most of them are homosexuals. If they're not a woman, it's a homosexual. And they always get caught with child porn on their computer. Like there was a principal in Columbus just got caught with child porn all up on his computer. You know what I mean? I can't remember where it was, man, but uh, the city uh, said that none of the Catholic priests are allowed to be alone around the children of the I should have saved that shit, man. I should have saved it. So who in their right mind would send their children to school? Right. Or to a child? That means you don't even care about your children. Hey, check it out, man. My best friend that was put to death, man, beat to death. This girl he was messing with had eight kids, man. And I, God knows how many because they had different fathers. But anyway, uh, this girl was just fucking with him because he was always there. He was there to babysit the children. Because he didn't work or nothing. He, he was just a drunk. Yeah. He was there to babysit the children, man. And this motherfucker was a drunk. Um, it's going to be destroyed. <laughs> right. Can you imagine the price of that that, that um, well, that's a that's a mirror job. Yeah. That's just expensive as fuck. I know one of them that spent ten G's on a paint job on a truck. This is all vanity. Right. Ten. Ten G's cost more than a damn car. Oh, you a drug dealing ass piece of shit? Then that ten G's ain't nothing. Yeah, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> you go up in there, boy. You say your prayers. Go up in there, a lot of lighter. That shit might be. I not go Fumes itself. Gas cut a lot of lights. What happens? This shit, a light on fire too. Behold, this, this is Isaiah 59, I'm sorry, one. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, that it cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Right, because people, I, I heard somebody say the other day, I be praying all the time, the Lord don't never answer my prayers. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. Somebody did come out here and say that, though. They say it all the time. As a matter of fact, it was a couple weeks ago. He don't hear. I was like, well, what is you praying for? And, you well, know, they probably he... playing for new pair of shoes and... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So let me find some money so I can find them again. I'm praying for some bullshit. Right. Man, you, when you be praying to the Most High, you're supposed to be serious about your prayers. What the scripture say about a nigger? <laughs> oh, yeah. you supposed to pray. Nigger? you supposed to pray for uh, the Lord to bring his kingdom on this earth. Why? What does the Lord's Prayer say? Everybody know the Lord's Prayer. He didn't pray for a new pair of shoes or a new car. He prayed for his daily bread and that the, the Lord's kingdom will come on this earth. Uh, let, let the kingdom, kingdom come, that will be done. They don't want they, they don't want the kingdom to come. They, they like it at living in filth out here. All the disgusting pile of filth. Let me just go through this real quick. Matthew 5, 19. Whoso therefore shall break one of these least... Oh, what's that? Matthew 6. Matthew 6 and 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Thou Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah, ha oh, hallowed be thy name. Holy is the Lord's name. And the Lord's name is not God. Okay, the Most High's name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And he said, Holy be thy name. Mm. So if you ain't, first of all, if you ain't coming in the name of the Lord, then the Lord ain't hearing your prayers. Okay? 
Especially after we done told you. Go ahead. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on in earth as it is in heaven. As earth as it is in heaven. So that the kingdom of heaven will be on earth. It says it right there in the scripture. It's going to be a physical kingdom where we're going to be physically ruling over the heathen with a rod of iron. Listen to this. Give us this day. Daily Our daily bread. That means enough to sustain you for that day. Not to live in luxury, living in the lamp of lux with <laughs> your penguin tux. Air conditioned room. Yeah, with, that. with some house music on in the background. <laughs> right. With your little diamonds and your gold Ooh, and riches. Your little nice clothes with no Versace's and all that. <laughs> you ain't supposed that shit to. Ain't never was attracted to me. Nah, I mean, yeah, that thing is ugly. Some alligators. I like wearing, you know, manly shit. Oh, you see my new kicks? You like those, those. Hey, bro, that's my style. I, I rock the boots. I ain't, I ain't wearing no Jordans. I wore, man, I wore the last pair of boots for three years. Hope you still got them. You can still work them. Oh, yeah, I'm working. They actually still more comfortable than these. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Yeah, so these people are on some bullshit, man. You go to these churches, and they always say, whatever you ask, it shall be given. You know, you know they all that they pray for is money. They're going to live good. Lord, help me pay my bills. Prosperity. Prosperity. Yeah, the preacher said, uh, the Lord will pay your bills as long as you pay me first. Uh, you gotta sow your seed of faith. Second Andrews 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Yeah, the kingdom is already prepared for you. Actually, the kingdom was even prepared before the earth was even created. You know what I mean? It's just we got to go through this hell first. Hey, let's get that. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. We need to All right. Yo, I'm just going to say stuff. No, the Lord's hand is not short. That it cannot say, neither is here, there's no one is heaven, that it cannot hear. For your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have been hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your for your for your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue has muttered perverseness. Yeah, because these people they speak, their words are perverse. And you know the word perverse literally means uh, against the truth, the opposite of truth, to take the truth and to twist it. You know what I mean? Perverse, it comes from the Latin word veritas. You know what I mean? And veritas means truth, so perverse means against the truth, to go against the truth. Standing in the face of, against the truth, mocking the truth. Yeah, perverse. The pervert, these people are perverts. That's why. That's what it means when you pervert the scriptures. Yeah. So it is. I got a scripture. Y'all talking about the kingdom? I got a kingdom scripture. I can keep this. I'll go ahead. No, go ahead. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Revelation 21 and one. This is talking about the kingdom of heaven. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So, for the kingdom of heaven to come in on this earth, America's got to be destroyed. All this filth has got to be cleansed. It's got to be purified, you know what I'm saying? All, all this filth on this earth has all got to be destroyed. Because you ain't going to have the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan coexisting at the same time. All this out here going to be destroyed. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for a husband 
and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, it is saying, I heard a little pipsqueak voice out of heaven. Hey, my children. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we speak with a great voice, you know what I mean? Jesus loves you. What's up, though? It, yep, and she gone. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their God. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me keep going though. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Oh, let me keep, this is beautiful. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, which goes into the faggots and adulterers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death so all these fools out here oh that sounded sounded sound good he gonna y'all gonna get burned up <laughs> had that feel good you know what i mean y'all gonna get burned up i mean but so eventually though like all these wicked fools out here, all you adulterers and adulteresses, the Lord's gonna destroy you, but in the kingdom, you're gonna be reincarnated and you're gonna be born again, raised up the right way under the statutes and the commandments of the Lord. And th th then you're gonna be good. The Lord's gonna make you right, okay? That's right. But you ain't gonna make it out this side alive. You gotta eat missiles. That's the punishment for, for wicked, adulterous devil. Is missiles. Yeah, imagine if he say a bunch of wicked motherfuckers, man, mad as they were. Beaming up an adulterer on a chariot. Right, right, right. He's looking at your wife on a chariot like, damn. You know, I made it. You know, fuck this shit. I made it, so I'm gonna fuck everything. Maybe, yeah, like having an orgy on a chariot. Right. They would do it if they could. Yeah, sure would. Sure would. Sure would. Sure would. Sure would. That point when you talking about, you gotta go through this shit first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and 11. For I am with thee, saith Yahweh, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations where they have scattered thee. Yeah. Oh, see, because the Lord has scattered our people among all these nations. Read that part again, because that's a key point, too. Because a lot of people can't understand that Israel was scattered. It just, it just, no matter how obvious we make it, they still can't get it. Yeah, right, right, right. Scripture after scripture, they can't get it. I mean, it. we got mountains of scriptures. Right, you know what I mean? Scattered. Yeah. Hell, you can even just, you, you, we got people out here you can use as examples. And they still you know? won't get it. Right, right. What's better than the actual people you can point to as an example? Yep. We see it all the time. You got Can't some, get it. Can't some, get it. Some Chinese dude will come out here and start moonwalking and rapping better right. than anybody. Right. That's a Chinese. He can't oh, that's a heat. Yep. Yeah. 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 What you doing? Waiting on the bus. Go ahead. Though I make a full end of all nations where they have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. And I will correct thee in measure, and I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Yeah, so, yeah, they ain't gonna go unpunished. So you, do, you, do you realize that, do you believe in the, uh, God? I believe in something put us here, but I don't know necessarily. So God. you believe in ancient aliens? You worship the Anunnaki? I don't really worship anything, I wouldn't say, but I do believe that something put us here. I don't know if it's, you know, God, Jesus, if it's aliens, if it's whatever it is. I'm not sure. So, would you, do you agree that America is the kingdom of Satan? 
I'd say that could be accurate. It's pretty accurate. Yeah, I'd say it could be accurate. Alright, all right. or maybe not. If not, like I said, I don't know if I believe in all that, but I believe in evil. Oh, yeah, this is definitely evil. The word devil has the word evil in it. True. So this, this is a kingdom of Satan, a kingdom of devils. You know what I mean? This is a kingdom of filth. So what are you guys trying to <clears throat> trying to accomplish? We're just teaching the word. It's already accomplished. The word is, is already sealed. It's already a done deal. Hi, fellas. The script was already written before the earth was created. So we just doing the work. We ain't trying to do nothing. I mean, I mean, like, is it like a Christian thing? Is it a we're, we're Israelites? I listen to, yeah, like I said, I listen to everybody that yeah. I like getting everybody's oh, perspective you're, you're on stuff like this. Like, yeah, where are you from? Listen, 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 listen. Let me explain to you where you're from. Okay. You see, one of our, cur cur one of our curses that people put on Israel, and that's Israel right there. There's these scattered Israel that's amongst right. all the other nations. He really did. Right. So, if me and you, I said me and you, if we have a, if we have a son, right, mm -hmm. and you the white one, and my son, mm -hmm. son, our son, listen, our son come out. Oh, listen, he's going to come out like a white Right, <laughs> you feel him, you feel him? Yeah. He, our son going to come out light skinned, right? <laughs> that's right. Okay, oh, that's shit. our son, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what if our son went and had a sex and had a child with another white woman? Mm -hmm. How that child going to come out? Real white. Okay, so. But the father the, the seed answered your is, question. The father is the seed. So your father's seed is black. Wow. This, his father's seed goes back to the black woman. Okay, and I his get man it. Could have blonde hair, blonde Isn't that hair. something? That's crazy. Yeah. I just that's wanted, I mean, but that's true. It's that's true. true. I was Listen. just curious because you know. Right. The well, well, you that's, got a lot that's a good of, question, though. Well, you got a lot of clowns out here teaching falsehoods, like uh, the, the red ninjas you ran into. Right. The ones that be out here in purple, the ones that be out here in red. What are they teaching? They're teaching that he's just a devil no matter what. What? Yeah. They know better than that. No, they, no, they don't. don't. But they should know because of that Bible they tells know. the they story of the sea. Right, but it's, you, I don't know what 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 chapter it was in, but it's all the, the, the lineage. <laughs> Right, Remember the right. party they had with the lineage and the father? The father is the seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if it was the opposite, then I think they could say that about her. Exactly. But it's exactly. not the opposite. Exactly. 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 But they don't, exactly. they don't look at it like generational generation. Right. Are right. they looking at it like today? Yeah. There's more Israelites than any other people on the earth. We're, because we're scattered all scattered. over the place. And there's Israelites. They don't even know the Israelites because they don't look like the usual. No, they don't. You, you seen got, Bruce Lee before. You got to find a, find a lineage. Right. You seen Bruce which Lee. Which one? Fist of Fury? Which one? Bruce Lee. Yes, that's my baby. What that's, about? That's his brother. Okay, Israelite. don't be playing with my you brother. Fight. Listen, fight. Listen, my, my brother. <laughs> I love my brother. Bruce to this Lee. day, I'm 43 and I still love that man. What like about your a, brothers like right here? Still, I love y'all too. But <laughs> Bruce Lee was my homie. Yeah, yeah. We grew Everybody. up with him. That's, that's why our people but so I didn't attracted understand, to him. I didn't understand why I was so attracted to him because right. his mother was right. white. Right. Yeah. But his father was, I thought, he was Chinese. He probably got Israelite, got scattered. Going back yeah. thousands of years. Well, yeah, you know? I remember the seed remained the same. Because yeah. of the father. Exactly, exactly. That's uh, for sure. How many Chinese is there? A billion? Trillion. Like a billion. And that's a, that's a characteristic of an Israelite man. But a lot of that's Chinese what your women always argue about. That they, man, I mean, I gotta go. That man got that woman across town. You know, uh, uh, the Israelite uh, man loves Always me. cheating on me. Right, right. Uh, always cheating on me. Well, but you know that's that's not right. It's not right, but it's the, the reality, you know that's though. Not, what's you know, what's you know we're not supposed right? to mix races, too. Uh, yes, we're not supposed to mix races. Know, you know, you miss you with a race, know. but that other race you, could be an Israelite, You though. do know, because of this this right here. I'm saying you know, and I know, you know, we're not supposed to mix the races. We're not supposed to go outside You're not of those supposed 12 to mix tribes. The races, but the man can. No, you cannot. Moses, Moses. You can, but you got to repent depending on who no, you mix no, with. Moses, who you, who you mix it with? You mix okay. it with an Edomite? Yeah. And you think it's okay? Yeah. You better read that. I did read it. I'm right read there, right that. You're teaching it. Read that. You know, we can't make, you know, we can, we can pop them with You can do what you want to do. But it says do not mix with strange what? Do not mix with strange what? Right. Women. Right. Right. The Irish and Do not mix with strange yeah. women. Yeah. They're all Israelites. They're all Israelites. For the most part. I mean, Israel's scattered. No, you can't marry them. You just see. Yeah, because I know I'm Irish. You can't marry them. You I never would have thought about it. What is that? Your children have to retain you. The ancient name of Ireland was uh, Hibernia, which comes from the word Hebrew. Yeah, I'm assuming. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? What was the national symbol of Ireland? 
from the sea. Right. But they're back to days. So we so 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 are so like child work, work by mixing with the Edomite. Yeah, it's, 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 in there, it's in there, bro. I wish I knew. I wish I knew on the top of my head. I, I'm not like right, y'all. I don't study. But I'm telling you, it's in there, and you need to look it up. I'm do a quick search on it. Because you want to think it's okay to sleep with the Edomite? She's talking about Ezra 9. But you have to repent for it. Ezra 9, but Ezra been scattered, so. I, if you love somebody, you love. Them. That's, that's not true, bro. That's not Moses? true. That's why there's a. That's not, why that's that right Lord there. Church. But I'm not going to fall in love with a heathen, though. See? No, no, I ain't got the spirit to fall in love. No, with. see, exactly. But a lot of people do fall in love with heathens, and that, they don't realize what the I consequences sorry for them. are. You're right, though. You're not supposed to get with heathens. You're, you're not right. supposed to get with heathens. That's what I'm talking yeah, you know, about. You're right. Verse church Moses. But Moses did have a uh, Ethiopian wife. What are the heathens? Moses committed other nations. Other nations. Other than these. Other nations. Let me get you a table nation. Cause you ain't gonna. But, but that was Moses, though. Yeah, that Moses. was. We're not Moses. Moses. Yeah, there was a situation with that. Why he had to marry that Ethiopian woman? Y'all know the story of that, right? But he's, he there was a circumstance. It was did matter. Moses. There was a circumstance behind that he's Ethiopian woman. Jo jo Joseph he's married an Egyptian one. priestess, yeah. and he had the two of the tribe this of Israel come from Joseph marrying an Egyptian woman. Once again, and this is only that's Joseph. Why so not? These situations are not like your situation. Here in this world. There's program. no respect to person. This, this is a different situation back then. But Joseph, Joseph did marry in a Those Jew. women had some type of... There was a reason why they married those women. Because they, they, they liked to be your No, 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 no. These are heathen nations. Get it. Okay. Okay. You know, they're separated from the 12 tribes of Israel. But the curses is decent. Israel was scattered from most these people. I know Leviticus so say people don't look at the people, too, but I don't know where it's at. Maybe 28 something? But they don't, don't look like that. Israel like the normal Israel. But y'all making it sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. But what we Y'all trying to make it sound like when I said you're not supposed to mix the races, like I'm crazy. I thought I'm like, I read that. We I just don't know what But the thing is, we're going to have, we're going to have concubines. It don't matter what you we're mean concubines. We're going to have concubines. Women from all the other nations. What do you mean? The little toys. Concubines. Right, Luke. You know, what are you talking about you're like you, you got a son, you buy your son different it. types of matchbox toys. And, what about you know, it? You know, we're going to have concubines. You believe that you should have more than one woman? We're going That's to. That's not in the Bible. What? That's, oh, my that God. That's not in the That's Bible. Cool. Said it. That's not in the Bible, bro. Yeah, y'all want to want to have different women because y'all can't settle for one. That's <laughs> Look, look, it's look. hard to be with a real oh, there, woman. I, I get that. But you with one, two, three, and serious? four women, you don't really got to have responsibilities. Why would you want to be a whore like that? That's, that's not a whore. That is a fucking whore. That's a whoremonger. When you have more than one woman, that's a whoremonger, bro. Yes, it is. You're an adulterer and a fornicator. That's not a guy. Who is with Solomon? That's not a guy. I don't care about no Solomon. I know the word. There you go. Good word. The word is the word, and you are not supposed to have one wife. You're with Solomon. Come on, y'all. Y'all talking about old okay. biblical stuff. Okay. Yeah, and I know some of the old is still new, you get the one with especially Jesus the laws. But that right there, you might as well be a Muslim. Where you think the Muslims got it from? Right, right. The Muslims got a lot of information plagiarized the Bible, don't get me wrong, but they also had their own traditions, like you fellas are talking about having the concubines. Came from All the traditions came from them. Yeah, they made some up, too. They made some up, too. Like the murder. What's, the murder of Jews, where's that at in the Bible? I don't, where it, I don't, say, I don't know where it says murder other religions. It don't say that in the Bible. I don't know. Actually, I don't Joshua, even know if it says that in the Bible. Joshua went Jesus. through and Go murdered ahead, all the Canaanites. Come here, come first, closer to me. First, first, Shout it, bro. First uh, Kings 11 and 3. And he has 700 wives, Ooh, what? princesses. Who was that? Solomon. And 300 concubines I know and his about wives. Those concubines are heathen nations. I know about Solomon. You know? He the nations, right? He, These women weren't of God at all. I know so that, but he was popular enough. How, it doesn't matter. That was his choice. He just took that was, to their God, I'm an Israelite man. God, that's an Israelite man. That's an Israelite man. There's a lot of paganism man. going on in those religions. But that's why reading? a lot of those places was destroyed. Okay, because of paganism. That's big. Where does, it say, where does God's word say? I want you to show me can I show God's you? word I got it. that says you can have more than one woman. I got it. I got it. Please. Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. And that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, Ooh, what? saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. 
Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. Seven just represents completion, which can be which can be many more women. That has nothing to do with wives. It does. No, it doesn't. We're ready to get it. It has nothing to do with wives. Why would seven women take hold of one man? It said take thy name. Because seven represents nation. When, when you get married to a woman, she takes on your what? It represents what? nation. Your name. She takes your last name. It represents right. nations, not the woman. Here it is, here it is. No, it don't. baby. Yes, it is. You ain't doing that. This morning, that represents nations. You taking it out of context. No, no. That's, that's what people do. This is talking to the Israelites. I know what it's talking about. There's seven nations, right? That we were scattered around. No. It's the nations coming together as one. What? Yes, that's what that, that's what that that's fourth it. one is let, about. Let me keep reading. Keep I, no, I, I know it tells you, though. Go I can keep going. No, go, go ahead. No, no, we got to read all of them. Hurry up. Listen, in that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, the branch. and the fruit the of the branch? earth. The branch is Israel. Yahweh Shai is the vine. The people, right? The people and this is the people, right? That's the branch. It's so Israel. Why would you not you think the seven, the seven women, but does, the, doesn't it's represent so what, nation. So, seven he women. always represents the nation as her. He no. always says her as the nation. No, because yes, listen, because no. look, I'll skip down. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. That's the black women of Judah. Right, because they're going to take, is they going to take the seven. women of Zion are the black women of Judah. And who's going to put them in order, that man, when he got those seven women? That, you are crazy, boo. How is that crazy? Bro, you crazy. That's exactly God what God bless both of all of y'all, but that Wait, is crazy. That is that if crazy. you believe, hold on, if you honestly believe that believe nobody's Jesus, right? even doing this now. You believe in Jesus, not, right? That people in Jerusalem, the fake Jews ain't even doing it like you that. So why, just... so why do you think sexually you would have concubines. <laughs> I just say concubines, why? You see, he said Concu concubines. That's, that's, right that's something concubines. totally different. Yeah. We gonna have- Did you not say concubines? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's different though. So that's, that's not different. Yeah. No, we gonna have still, many wives and forever. many concubines. Listen, this, this is Jesus, right? When you call Jesus. Matthew 19 and 28. And you have a shot, said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone that forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold. Who a hundredfold? Shall, yeah, it what? shall not it shall carry. <laughs> so you gonna so okay, if you lose sorry, your wife, what did I miss? you're gonna get a hundredfold <laughs> women. What's right. A hundredfold is a hundredfold of thing. It never said wives. I just read it, bro. Let Look. me see it. Let me Look. see it. Because that doesn't make any sense. Okay, it says, and everyone for that has forsaken houses of brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wives. Wife, why not wives? Why not W-I-V-E-S, bro? You, 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 let me tell you, you need to be careful. There's a mystery in there. Listen, young boy, young man, you a youngster. And right. God and, and God love you because you're trying to do something for your people right now. But I need you to be more weary of your research. Can I ask you a question, okay, there's things you need to also, so what is the Bible is the only history book so there is. Don't get me wrong. A hundred folds means like, uh, let's say like a lottery ticket. Right. You think the lottery ticket is worth five dollars and you turn it in and it's worth more than what you think. Let me ask that's you. That's a hundred fold. Let me ask you a question. Okay, that's a hundred fold. But it's that wise, right? If it's that yes, wise, bro, you got wise. it. But it's that W I. But check this out. Why would you need one more than one wife? Can't yeah, yeah, to make children. Explain you can't cook. Make the other one can't cook. It's you sound was, crazy, you know, bro. I mean, just just reality you of it. Crazy. That's the reality. We of need to make babies. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, let me. Hey, why did so Paul? Sad. Why did Paul say if the, if you're a deacon, if you're a bishop, you're only allowed to have one wife if you're a bishop? Because well, that's specified. That's that's it. No, if you're a bishop. That's it because they're, in that generation, a lot of people had more than one wife back then because you were supposed to be because, because back multiplied. in the ancient world, it, it had to be like that because there was hardly any. What, what this is ancient then? Okay, but I'm talking about now. Then it ain't you no, honestly there is no new thing under the, the sun. It's no, you're right about that. But when it comes to a wife, you're only supposed to have one wife. Listen. And I swear, if I see y'all again, I'm going to have so many. I'm going to write the scriptures down. I'm not stuck yeah. on today's world. Stuck on today's world. No, that's I'm Esau's not. laws. I'm, I'm, I'm not stalking. That's the, Esau's laws. Boy, but you friends. look just like Esau. So that's a curse. You look just like Esau. That's just a curse, though. So, you said you agree to it, though. It is true, but you look just like but Esau. But you agree to Esau. Me. I'm not in agreement with I'm Esau. I'm sorry. Oh, now she's getting carnal now. Listen, no, this is 100 folk. This is definition of 100 folk. You got them emotions stirred up. This is definition of 100 folk. As a hundred times yeah. as much. I just said that's a hundred times as much. So you're gonna have a hundred more. That's not the wife. He is he's not talking about the wife. He's talking about everything in your community. He said wife, more children, money, more father, 
mother. More, yeah, because everyone's brothers. together now. So you can have a hundred. Why, a, you have why would a nation that comes together not multiply with this me and him, you and your girl, you and your wife? You would grow a hundred times. You would because you're all in the same community. But it don't have nothing to do with me, you, and Sarah, and, 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 and King. Hey, and Kuka, Kuka, That's what that means. I'm trying to tell when, you. When King David was on his deathbed, your first King was. When King David was on his deathbed, they brought him a young virgin. And when he didn't get aroused by her, they was like, oh, we know it's almost time for him okay, to go. Okay, what's your point? He had many, he was a man after the most high's own because heart. He was, but he was a whoremonger. What? No, he wasn't. He what? was. What? He, he controlled his life. Everything was. Who's your how is the women. son of David? With women. It doesn't matter. It's you know what a whoremonger means? It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you can't repent for the things you've what? done. What? What? You can it's always repent for being a whore. Right, show, show me the scripture. Show me the scripture. The scripture says whoremonger will be in the lake of fire. So you won't tell me King David going to be in the lake of fire. We don't know where he ended up. Oh, we, know he was, no. we do know he was one of God's chosen people. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying they did that because he was a man who had multiple wives, right? He had multiple. That was his life before he even uh, found the word. Under the Lord, the King David was a top no, guy. No, no. Before he even found no, the word. No, he was, he was. He was uh he was uh righteous when he got uh, uh what's her name Michaela or something like that. He, he was the Mal Malachi. What are you talking I about? forgot his name, her name. But he was still righteous throughout the whole Bible. What are you talking about? What you mean righteous? Yeah. He was righteous since he was seventeen. Righteous well, in what that. aspect? In righteous. the word? He got anointed king when he was seventeen years okay, old. Okay, in the and word. Then he, got, then he got multiple wives after that. Okay, I didn't know that story. I got to look at that story. There's Lord say he's rooting offspring of David. Okay. The bright in the morning story. But I don't care what you say, you say, you say, concubine, no, no, y'all, y'all. We're gonna have all the women. Boo I can't stand There's it. There's nothing you can do about <laughs> it. Yes, it is. I'm gonna I'm come and in back. That, and in the kingdom, you I'm coming. I need somebody's number or call. You ain't get my number. Yeah, give me a <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody's email or something because I am going to send y'all some scriptures and we're going to talk. I go straight and, to the spam. And look, right. <laughs> you weren't huh? want to debate. Right, no, there ain't no debate. Yeah, it is a debate because you're wrong. You're wrong and you're wrong. Some of those scriptures. I don't even know their names. I don't care what their names are. Bad right. one, two, and three. Oh, back. And four. Right. Check out your boy's shirt. Right. So y'all ain't going to give me no email address? Yes, you do. I got, I got a scripture for you, though. Give me one. All right, I got you. Hold up, yo. I got it. But don't be getting mad at me, either. You know I am. All right. You're going to even... It's okay. Proverbs 9 and 13. I like Proverbs. A foolish woman is clamorous. <laughs> she is yeah. simple and knoweth nothing. I know a lot. I just don't know I, I, what you know, right? What? I told I you. I don't know what you know. Well, we read the scripture to you. You read the scripture and to me, but it did not say what you said. It said seven said. women shall take hold of women. Seven women is the is representation of nation. But it didn't know. It told you the daughters of Zion are filthy. And you agreed yeah, yeah. that that was daughters of Zion. So they're going to take one man. The devil The devil That's part of our reward in the kingdom. That's not a reward in the kingdom. Women are beautiful. That's a reward. That's not a reward. That's not a reward. Well, it makes you ignorant as well. I don't know what. You didn't even know the name of who you were trying to talk about that you're trying to give your information. That's the fuck? I forgot one name, oh. research. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not very gospel. Right, yeah. you can't really. Okay. okay. Kind give me a word. scripture. You got a Bible. Give me a scripture. Yeah. Give me it. Which, which one do you give want? Give me a scripture. Well, which one do you want? Oh, forget somebody's name. Forget a woman's no, but name. Oh. That makes you ignorant if you don't know the name okay. of the person you're talking about. Well, ignorance is only me. I just know something. You can't remember every last word and every last sentence. We ain't the rain man. We can't. I'm sorry. He's the rain man. He got the whole Bible memorized. David's wife. They get out here with your little petty bullshit, bro. This dude right here, bro. Wow, man. Wow, man. You're just very right hateful. Serious. Spiteful. Man, you're hateful. You don't want to come out talking shit. I, 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 I made a demonstration of I'm the not, fact that I'm not you came out talking shit. Talking but about. he could call me I'm ignorant. Not talk, it's okay. I'm not talking any kind of crap to anybody. I just said that you're ignorant. Ignorant is not talking crap about anybody. Well, it makes you ignorant. What are you doing? You're a hater. Because you're trying to give her an example without giving a proper name. That makes you ignorant because you don't know what you're talking about. You're a scorner, bro. <laughs> you were looking for a name, so you couldn't run it out of your mouth. What's the Lord's name? 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 I'm going to start okay. searching for more of that fire. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to come back and tell you. I'm going to sit there and do it right now. You're going to sit there and keep doing all that. You're crazy as hell. I'm not crazy as hell. I work every day. I take care of myself. Oh, uh, there it goes. I wish I had a king at home. Seriously, I'm uh, because I wish I did. But I, because I'm clamoring. He's single. Look, I'm because I'm clamoring. He's single. I gotta learn how to be not clamoring. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not sure. I, that's my weakness. It is. All right. All right now. What's the last name, bro? You feel better? You feel better, bro? 
Feel better? Do you feel better? You feel better? <laughs> no, feel better? I feel like shit. Because you're, you're the one that's in there talking all that nasty buzz at me. I feel like shit with you, bro. That makes you spiteful. That makes you spiteful. That makes you spiteful. Oh, Jesus, what's up? Wow. They about to get together. They about to exchange numbers. She said, I need a You ain't heard? She said, I need a king of home. Uh uh. Not this king. Uh uh. She was, looking, she was scoping out every last one of them. Well, you gotta be brave to go down that way. So, what church are you guys from? This is church. The church of Yahweh Shah. The body of Yahweh Shah. That's the, the bread of life. You ever ate that bread? Yeah, I was raised Catholic, so. No, I'm talking about have you eaten the bread though? I drank the water. I don't know what that means. And some wine too. We drink it all. We eat we eat the bread. We drink the wine. We drink, we sipping on that wine right now. We speaking parables. Hey, get that for me, bro. John said. Is this the bread we eat is gonna keep you alive? I mean, is it like a, you guys say Columbus? We're right here, right now. Well, I mean, like, you, is it like a? Like this a, is a. This is like a building. We're here. No building. I mean, we're, we're each that, brick. He's a brick. He's a brick. I'm a brick. Right? We're lively stuff. So you stay out every weekend. And do this stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can. We got on YouTube. You know what I mean? This, this these build a church. The Lord is not dealing with. These churches and buildings. He ain't doing with these women for damn sure. Hell no. You <laughs> see that? They act None of them. <laughs> you can read her a thousand scriptures till you're blue in the face. Yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna do you no good. Yeah. We actually became more foolish for even than uh, going into that with her. That's probably why I couldn't find a scripture. <laughs> so what were you guys trying to tell her? Yeah. Man, there's nothing you can tell her, you know? Because she's always right, no matter what. She around the niggas, yeah, as soon as you, you, I start proving her wrong, now I'm Esau. So that was kind of I already seen that, yeah. I should call it a code of bus while you got a racist code of bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> got him. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying to understand, like. That's all right. You, you, know you got that John 10? Read it. <laughs> you, you, can, you can't, you can't, yeah, you just can't eat the whole loaf in one time without, you know, washing it down. You got to take a little, you got to drink some milk. First, we're going to drink a little milk. Go ahead. John 10. Or is it 10? No, no, you're right. It was 6. I don't know why I get mixed up. John 6 and 53. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them. Yeah, Yahweh yeah, Shai is an ancient Hebrew name of Jesus. We don't call him by Jesus, that's not a real name. Okay? The Spirit has given us the name. Go ahead. Rarely, rarely, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. So what what is the flesh of the Lord? Is it eating a little little wafer in the Catholic Church communion? I mean I don't know. This is the word. This is the bread. This is the loaf right here. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Whoso eateth my flesh. Hey, the word Lord comes from the word loaf. It means the loaf winner, the bread winner. It's an old English word, which means the Lord was the man who brought the bread home and fed everybody. That's where the Lord was. I, uh, we could look the etymology up on that. Go ahead. And drink of my blood, have eternal life, and I'll raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. This is the bread that came down from heaven. This is the Lord, the word of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead. Not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Yeah, so you eat this bread right here, you're going to have eternal life. Keep going. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in the curb. What is it, curb? Many oh, Capernaum? Or? Yeah, Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. It's a hard saying. A lot of people don't understand it. They think 
because you got you got to look at things with spiritual eyes. The Lord spoke a parable. Let me get that. So, what are your like the main like principles of your? We tell you why we're out here. That's yeah, what he's, he's trying to tell you. Oh, but okay. listen, man, we only out here just, we're just trying to wake up the elect. The elect of Israel. And everybody's not an elect. That's why the word is elect. It means something special. You know what I mean? Elect. No. Elect is where you get the word select. A select few. Not everybody. The Lord said many are called, but few are chosen. So we, have, we don't care about the masses of people. The hell with them. Actually, we put curses on them. We pray the Lord destroys them. You know what I mean? Most of these people, they, they're not even... They don't even deserve to live and breathe because they're filthy heathens. You know what I mean? They're just foul, abominable, poor bodies, filthy. Useless, yeah, useless, useless eaters. So what is the, like, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, like, what, is, what do you guys feel like you should live, how you should you live to be that? According to the word of the Lord. You're supposed to follow the commandments that's in this book. This is the instruction book right here. This was handed down to us from our forefathers. You know what I mean? Preserved. Just Israel. Just it. We only here for Israel. That's and it. That's it. That's we it. are not concerned with nobody else. Just elect Israel. And out of eight, seven, eight billion people on the planet Earth, that's a, that elect, that's a tiny number. That's, a, that's not even a fraction. <laughs> that's tiny, man. Yeah, the Lord speaks of the elect, 144,000. Elect. That's a very small few group of people. Yeah. 144,000? That's all that's going to be? No, that's nah, just the elect that's of the, the elect. elect. Oh. It's the elect of the elect. Yeah. <laughs> There's only There's going to be a lot more people than that being saved, right. but that's the only people that's going to be out here teaching. Well, that's going to be a big number. Uh, Isaiah 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Then are them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Yeah, like I said, uh, yeah, because the basic information we give people, you know, is milk. First, you got to get the milk, but after you get the milk, you got to start eating steak. You got to grow up. You got to grow up. That's what caught, well, this is what caught my eye. Wait, what, explain this to me. That's Satan. That's the devil. And that image is so honest to whom? It looks like Jesus. Honest to whom? See how there's, there's two pictures on there. Who's that other guy? That looks like Jesus. That's where the image is based on. That's a guy named Chesra Borgia. You even told me the Lord's name. He's so funny. Oh, yeah, but that's a... Uh, he was the son of the Pope Alexander VI, who came into power around 1492. That's, that's when hell was unleashed upon the earth during that year. That's when it all hell's That's when Satan was loose out of his prison. They, and they called it the Renaissance, meaning the rebirth of Satan's kingdom. I got, the, I got Revelation 1. Let's go over this one. All right. Revelation 1 and not 8. Well, one, I'm sorry, 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine grass. So his feet were be the same color as his face, right? Your feet is the same color as his And his feet like into fine grass. What color is grass? Dark. Dark, right. So that's why we got this image out here. The squ we're squashing this image, you know? This is falsehood. He said he had woolly hair. I always thought that, yeah, yeah Jesus was... Right. You look like Steve. You know who Steve is? Uh, yeah, I've heard that. I get, I get uh, Dougie Houser a lot, too. Dougie, hey, I'm too. I'm about to say, can you play bass? I've been playing guitar. Well, yeah, I can play bass. I've been playing uh, guitar for about 15 years. We're well, a bass player. Don't y'all battle, man. Uh, battle I'm, bro, I'm the best there is. Battle you know. another day. The Lord gave me spiritual guitar Just powers. Keep that madness so out of here. Yeah, that's madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't going to be singing no love songs. Oh, baby, how I miss you. I sing songs about killing these bitches. You know what I mean? About destruction, death and destruction. Right. To, to the wicked. All, everybody, two thirds of Israel, Edomites, all these, all these heathens, they all gonna die by the sword of the Lord. I didn't know. Hey, let's get one of them good songs for him. Oh, good song, good song. Yeah, good song. That new song. Go ahead, bring it out. Right. Give the song at 15 and 4. 
Touchdown Jesus. They built it up again. They got struck by light. They built it up bigger and better. This. Can't even save right, My bus is here. Good talking to you right, guys, bro. Can't save right. Here's a good song, bro. This is songs 137 and 7. Oh, that's a, I love this one of my favorite songs. Remember, no, not, I guess it's not here. Oh, shit. Here, we're about to he sing. He probably wants you to hear this. Uh, the Lord wants you to hear this yes, one. This is songs 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Now, Edom, that's the, that's the people who control the planet, okay? The, the people who call them so-called white people, like the Rothschilds, the, the Edomites, the, all, the, all these rich bank families. Right, you know about them. Those are Edomites, and they know they're Edomites. The Rothschilds especially know. Yeah, even the they word Roth means red, just like Edom means red. Yeah, I've heard some crazy stuff about the, like, there's like 12 blood, like, royal blood lines. Right. Like, it's, it's some big shit. Yeah. You know, Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. I've read about, you know, They make mockery of it now. that type of stuff, like, kind of reading up on it. That shit's real, you know? They, they, Obama is not controlling this country. I do believe that. You know what I mean? I, I don't believe that, you know, I definitely believe that there's, a select few that control everything of course. in the world. But they're not stupid enough to let the people, people that are put in power are put there. Like they're exactly. not exactly. You know, that's why I don't vote. I don't believe your vote matters. It really don't. Like the whole Donald Trump thing, it's all stage. Right, yeah, I think so too. Good. Yeah, I definitely believe that there's somebody pulling the strings or some group of people. Yeah, pulling the strings, exactly. But they've, they've been also been pulling the strings for centuries, you know. Hell yeah, of course. That I do believe. Ever since the Renaissance. Yeah, that was when they had all the, uh, like the Templars and all that. It was pretty much the end of the so-called Christian era. Right. You know, it was when they brought back in, you know, all the pagan beliefs and all that. Brought back usury. Uh, right. Because, you know, during the Byzantine Empire, you know what usury is, right? No. This whole country operates on usury on, uh... When you get a loan, you gotta pay interest. It's interest. Right. You know, everything deals with interest. But during the, the Byzantine Empire, that was illegal to charge someone with usury. Because it goes against the laws of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But this whole country... So you're saying 1492 was when they stopped going by the laws of the Bible and started... Well, pretty much. You know, it was a gradual process, you know. But yeah, pretty much. This GOP That's official... That's when Esau took over. ...whose name he's trying to stay hidden made this comment. This GOP official made a brazen admission that, well, voting doesn't matter. If you haven't come to terms with that fact, then it's probably about time that you did. Given the complex and uh, deliberately obscure rules that the Republican and Democrat parties create for themselves, it is clear that it is not the voters of this country, but the inside party officials who actually determine who our leaders will be. <laughs> hey, it's funny too, though, because they even tell you, because the Electoral College is who really, right. you know. Yeah, you can win. Well, my vote in Ohio is worth more than your vote in Wyoming. But, and you can have the popular vote, but the Electoral College can still award those points to the other guy. That's what I'm saying. It's bullshit. That's their fail safe system. Straight bullshit. So they make yeah. sure they get their guy in there. Right. This system is more like a democracy. See guys. All right, dude. democracy. But it is reality. Many have surmised as much as they watched the country going down the two year after year, but now their suspicions have been confirmed. And it goes into a lot of other matters about it. It ain't actually bad, it's just facts. It proves how this system is so. I ain't voted in over 20 years, I man. never voted. <laughs> I voted twice, bro. I heard the first time I voted for Ross Perot. Ha, <laughs> ha. You see how that was? Yeah. I was happy to cast my vote. I was 18. Right over. You know, I was old, boy. I vote for Ross Perot. <laughs> he used to be on TV with his little church. I was like, he makes sense, though. Ah! Perfect. Young and dumb. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm Psalms 137 and 7. Yeah, I'm with it. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundations thereof. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh the dash of thy little ones against the stone. Yes, yeah, so that day's gonna come. We're gonna take those little Edomite babies, they're gonna get smashed against the rocks. Hey, why, why you in Psalms? Oh, you said I got 139 also. Okay, okay, Revelation, Babylon's destruction. Let me put it on the phone real quick. Okay. Okay, what you asked for? 139. Sorry, one. Uh, you don't have to do one, but okay. uh, just find a juicy card. I mean, you could read the whole thing. Psalms 139. Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my door. My down sitting and my uprising, thou understandest my thought for all. Thou comp composite me, my path and my lying down, and are acquainted, acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue but no, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. There ain't nobody can't escape the Lord. He everywhere. You hear him? Uh, you hear him? What is that? He eats on me. You said that? Big faggot. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall behold me. Jehovah. If I say, surely the darkness shall come to me, even the night shall be light unto me. Yea, the darkness hideth from me. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm late. But the night shall you are speak worse than you. Hey, the darkness shines as night from you, but the night shineth as a day. The darkness is the light or the light. Stay focused. Right, 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 right. That was Satan. Ooh. He was talking to her down, something like that. Yeah, this is such a good thing. Little Jesse. Yeah, she was hot, though. Thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in thy, my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearful and wonderfully made. Marvelously are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made a secret and curiosity brought me to the lowest parts of the earth. My eyes did see my substance, yet being un unperfected, and in thy book all my members were written. Yeah, so you, you can't hide nothing from the most high. They all oh, gonna get away with this, get away with that. You didn't get away with shit. Go ahead. Which is continuous for fashion, and yet there was none of it. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O power. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt.